Hey, what's up guys? Kevin here from LEGO Republic, bringing you another video. In today's video, we will be comparing the LEGO set Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. On the left there, we have the 2008 version set 7669 called Anakin's Jedi Starfighter and it has 153 pieces. Retail for $20, while on the right side we have, again, Anakin's Jedi Starfighter uh, set 75214 and has 247 pieces and also retailed for $20. So I think with all the inflation, the $20 just right off the bat for the Anakin Starfighter on the right is just kind of a steal in my opinion, but we're gonna do a whole deep dive First off, the box is the box on the on the left there. You can see because I have it in person. The box on the right, um, I would have to show you, and I do have it right here. There we go. There's the box, and you can see that I don't like the Force Awakens stuff on a on a Clone Wars box. That's not Force Awakens. It's the Last Jedi, but I still don't like anything to do with the sequels. So therefore, I'm giving points to the first box we looked at. Love that Clone Wars box art. I do not have a lot of it. Although there is something else we got to look at here because they're pretty much for the same amount of um, for the same price. You get a whole lot more pieces with this newer one, and it's a lot bigger and just a much nicer model um, as far as like the structure and stuff goes. Ideas wise, not so much. We're gonna take a deep dive into that. But yeah, it, it's crazy to me how big the box is um, on the older one compared to the newer one for the price. It's kind of insane that they would put such a big box with such a small Lego set to me. But yeah, that was before my time. Boxes were bigger back then. They had to be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a perfect, perfect example of how figures change from 2008 to 2018. 10 years, 10 years of figures, guys. Oh, it, they are slightly different because the one on the left is supposedly Clone Wars, but I mean, guys, just look at this. First of all, the first main thing, the thing I'm seeing first is they fixed the lightsaber hilt. That's the first thing I'm noticing, look at that. And then also those lightsabers, I mean, they've come a long way. Look at how nice that, the new lightsaber looks. That looks pretty good. Also, you've got not a Clone Wars face that's generic. You now have the gen different generic face. This one has the headset, which I'm not a fan of um, because pretty much the only Anakins you can get are like battle scarred Anakin or Anakin with a headset or both. But yeah, I don't really like the headset one. Um, I would prefer to just have a regular Anakin. You can see they still use the same hairpiece, which does the job, uh, but the new Anakin has leg printing while the other one doesn't, but the torso is pretty much the same. Um, however, the new Anakin does have darker arms, so that is something in and of itself. If we go to the back, you can see that the newer Anakin has a back print as well, uh, but the, the older one does not. The same hairpiece. Uh, can be removed on the newer Anakin to show an angry face, whereas the other Anakin does not have a face at all. So very interesting. I 100% believe there will never be a year in LEGO Star Wars where there's not a set, at least one set, with R2-D2 in it. There, R2 is in at literally everything, and he's George Lucas's like favorite character besides Yoda. And C-3PO just tags along with him too, because why not? But pretty much, you, you at least get one R2 every year. So look how far the R2s have come, even more so than the Anakin. So you can definitely see here, um, they've cleared up this giant white hole. I don't know why it was there, but they cleared it up. So that's good, I'm glad they did. They now have the silver dome instead of a white dome which they're printing on, which is different. Now that could just be um, from that, because this one is technically supposed to be animated and this one is the actual R2. That could be why it's slightly different, but still, they did try and print the metallic on here. So um, yeah, I gotta go with the new R2. As much as I think it's boring and bland, this one, I mean, it's just a lot better. Uh, although I will say I like the torso of the other one. I like the animated one a little better, but yeah. And then there's really nothing on the back except for, you know, more more blank spots as far as the old R2 goes. Ah, yes, the comparison, finally. So I'm going to say a lot here. I don't have exact, like, categories or things I'm going to base this off of. This is literally just what I'm thinking, and some categories in my brain, like playability or, like, structure, 
as, as far as the structure being sound, they're just worth more in my opinion than some of the others and than each other, so you'll definitely be able to see that here because I have a pretty good idea about what I'm going to say here. So, you have your two Anakin Starfighters. You can fit R2 in each one. Here's an R2 socket right there. Here's an R2 socket right here. It works beautifully. However, this one gets props because it can go like this and R2 doesn't come out. This one, nope, not cutting. Man, every time R2 falls out, he lands up straight. It's like two for me now. Anyway, so they both have an R2 socket, but this one kind of wins because it doesn't fall out, which is cool. And when you're, I'm going to put that in the swooshability category because when you're trying to swoosh this thing around, you're going to want to, if you're a kid, you know, go upside down. And if that R2 doesn't fall out and you don't have to go grab it, that's going to be a, a really nice plus for you. So yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that as far as the R2 socket wins, or as far as the R2 socket goes, this one wins. However, there is the cool feature where you can, you know, pop that R2 out of its socket. Um, and, and you can't do that on the newer one. So I would say that this one, unfortunately, does fall out when you turn it over. However, you get a really cool ability to take it out. But unfortunately, the cool ability to just pop the R2 socket out isn't really that good in my opinion. Like, you can just as easily pop that thing out as just, you know, pull the R2 out of its socket here. And of course, now I'm having trouble because, of course, I only have trouble during the reviews, but that makes total sense. It's just ask any youtuber that's how it works now we'll take a look at the front of the ship here We've got some weird stickers i don't know what these stickers are supposed to be representing because they they don't represent anything really like these look like they could be two different ships as far as like the design goes i personally like this one better as far as the design goes this one looks a little bulky and then flat i would like it to be a little more you know arched but look a little better in my opinion not arched but i like the slant to be there you know and this one does a good job of that so i'm glad that it did that and it makes me happy and then it doesn't have like when i see this i think cracks like why are there cracks in the ship that's what i think of this is just pure and yellow and i love it now these guns don't really do very much so that's not very good this, this does have stud shooters which i really hate stud shooters if you haven't figured that out already. But, I mean, stud shooters are a feature, so technically they win in this scenario. Um, but I, I really hate to say that because I really dislike stud shooters. Now, something cool, we'll move on to the cockpit section. Something cool you'll notice is that the on this ship, the back fin is like a lot bigger and the cockpit's a little more pushed forward, whereas in this ship, the cockpit's a little far back with a smaller back fin, so you can, you know, put your Anakins each in their Starfighters. This might take a little bit, but this Anakin goes in rather nicely. They both have control panels in the cockpit, which is nice, and I don't mind taking off the cockpit in the old style. I, I really don't think it matters that much, but maybe some people like the ability to just you know go like that but that's a new piece so i i can't really talk about that too much um the fins in the back you can obviously see the difference here one is just giant compared to the other and i'm not really sure how i feel about that because this one's like size feels more accurate to this but this also looks a lot better so it's kind of hard to decide this one also has those marks of like trash on it not trash on it but you know like as if it's been in space for a while some people are into that stuff but to me personally i like the sleeker looks and just the like the tarnishing of the ship when they make it look bad on purpose it just doesn't really work with me um, i'm not a super huge fan they both have republic logos on the fin but you'll see that there's a very interesting discrepancy on this one they use black and a white sticker where uh, whereas this one it is a printed white tile so a little different they took a step back and went to stickers but they also used a black tile instead of a white tile so i don't know i mean they both kind of look good i would say this one has maybe a little darker of a color scheme because they use light gray for this and dark gray for this one okay let's talk landing gear this has the three point landing gear which is kind of annoying because this set is pretty old and it takes quite a lot of muscle and i'm especially trying not to break it if it was mine i wouldn't care but it is jack so i gotta kind of be more careful than usual um 
it's just really brittle. Like all of these pieces are brittle and these wings are brittle. I mean, technically you could say that the moving of these wings is a feature, but it's not really intended to be such. But I mean, the landing gear works. It's three point landing gear. The important thing about it is you can't just like knock it over very easily. Like I'm putting all my weight on here and it's not going over, right? That's, but for the other one, right, you put it up here, you can easily knock it. I mean, you can just see how easily it does that, right? Like you can easily knock this one from side to side and it doesn't look very good, but it does only have one uh, of those landing gear things that would use the brittle pieces. Now, one other thing that this ship has that the other ship does not is it does have a place to clip Anakin's lightsaber there. So that is super awesome. Uh, but the other ship does not, unfortunately. But it does have flick fire missiles, so that's another feature. It can make up for that absent uh, lightsaber blade. And quite honestly, you can literally just put your own piece there and clip on your own lightsaber. It's pretty easy to do that on this ship if you wanted to. But yeah, gotta hand it to the 2019 version for having that little clip there for the lightsaber. That's really nice. Cause you know, you're little kids, you might lose the lightsaber somewhere. I know I've done that multiple times and it was a very sad experience. Now, if we take a look at the engines, clearly the ones on the 2019 version are quite a lot bigger. They have this like extension and I don't really know why, but it looks rather good. And so, yes, one other difference that you'll see is that this uh, 2008 version uses these hinges pieces and the 2018 version has no hinge whatsoever on the wings, which I really like actually, but also it takes away from the playability aspect of it. So I really like that they're able to do that. However, it just kind of makes things weird because then they can't put in flick fire missiles Although, they totally could have put in flip fire missiles, but they didn't because they had stunt shooters. So, yeah, all in all, these ships are both really good. I gotta hand it to the 2019 version just on being a better build. I really like the way they did the wings like I just talked about, and the cockpit's farther back, the whole thing's sleeker, R2 doesn't fall out, and even if the only feature is those stupid stud shooters, um, I mean, honestly, this feature, really isn't that good anyway so yeah I would have to say like I've said in both my reviews of this this is a five this is a six and yeah this one's gonna win barely it doesn't have any features but it looks so cool compared to this one it just looks like quality versus not quality uh, and a good analogy would be Lego not Lego even though this is Lego it's just you know old Lego so it's not as good but yeah I, I really I really gotta say the structure in this set has to has to do something here um, maybe I'm biased because I've never really had much of this these sets that are like very badly structured um, but yeah like this is just so much better quality compared to this one while this one does have a lot more features and usually that may have changed my mind. This one just clearly is better and more quality in my opinion. So I would definitely go with this one. Also, it's probably a lot cheaper because it's newer. So I would definitely go with that if you were looking to buy an Anakin Starfighter. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, make sure to smash the like, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.